Ooh, this is gonna be one tough day in my kitchen because today we're getting our second chance at getting another star in our kitchen. A new food critic is coming in and I'm gonna do my best to make sure they get the best food I have to offer. But I need your help. My oven does not look good at all. My stove looks busted and I need you to leave a like on this video in order to help me fix it. Just one like will help me, I promise. So a food critic is showing up in four hours. That means I'm gonna have to prepare myself for the toughest tasks there is which is mainly making sure that my dishes are perfect, which I always do. But it's gonna be a little tough with my oven looking like this. What is happening to this thing? Uh, you looking all right here, oven? You've seen better days. It's been a while since I've actually uh, taken the time to repair my oven. So I'm gonna go take care of that right now. I'm gonna pick up the phone and I'm gonna call somebody who can help out at fixing this oven. Here we go. A nice, helpful person, just uh, 40 two seconds and then it'll be repaired. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. I guess that's all I needed to do. I can set that phone down and then I can get prepared to start my new day as uh, as waiting for the critic to show up. I don't know what they're gonna want to eat though. Let me look at my recipes and see which one might be the best. I only have six recipes at my restaurant right now, but my best one and my most favorite to make is this one right here, the tomato soup. I'm just really good at making tomato soup, so I wanna make it as much as often. But there's also, you know, my famous baked trout. I've got a few pork chops as well as beef chuck and steak. So I have a little bit of everything here, a lot of bit of everything. And for vegans, as well as those who just don't wanna uh, not eat meat, <laughs> I have plenty for the critic to choose from. But I am gonna have to ensure that this comes out good, perfect almost, because I need this critic to like my restaurant so I can get another star, like this. I've got one star already, and I just wanna add another one to my collection of stars. Hello, my star. All right, I'm gonna set this star down because it's a little weird. I don't, I don't really have a spot for it yet. I just kind of put it on my desk and I'm waiting for this to finish up. Oh, come on. Oh, wow, look at that oven, nice and brand new. So now what we can do is we can skip the preparation stage and we can go straight to opening the restaurant today. What's our first order, huh? Is it even going to be our <gasps> famously made Beef chuck with baked potatoes? Of course it's gonna be that. Okay, so it looks like I do have to make baked potatoes and beef chuck. And I have to make beef chuck on the grill, which is no problem. I can use uh, not the flat top, but the one with the grill marks. Yeah, this one right here. So I just need to get some beef chuck as well as all of the seasonings and spices, which thankfully I have them laid out right in front of me. I have every single one of them that I need. So let's get myself some beef chuck and let's get started on this first recipe. Recipe, there we go. Beef chuck, Ugh, I almost got that stuck in the door. Now, how many ounces of beef chuck do they need? 200 grams. And how much is this one? Uh, a kilogram. So a thousand. They don't need a thousand kilograms of beef chuck. They only need 200. So I need to get two pretty decently sized slices. I want to say that right there is a hundred and that right there is a hundred. So if I just move this knife back over here, there we go. And if I check this out, 181 and 130. Wow. Okay. So a little bit over 200 on each. I might be able to just give them this one beef chuck and get away with it. Well, I'm gonna cook these two up anyways. Let's get this beef chuck and I'm gonna put this back in the fridge because I don't have to use all of it just yet. Let me just place that there. There we go. And now what do I need to add to this beef chuck? I need to season it with sweet bell pepper and a bunch of other things. Let me lay these steaks down flat or these, these beef chucks down flat. That way I can get some really good seasoning on them. I don't want to just season the sides, of course. Let's get this sweet bell pepper and I need four grams of bell pepper. There we go. One, two, three, four. Uh, well, I accidentally put five, but it should be all right. There's two different pieces, so it's gonna be a bit tougher to cook both of them, or at least give them the amount of majorum. What is majorum? Majorum, majorum, majorum. Oh, there it is. It's this green dried stuff. Okay, so I need four of that as well. Oh, dang it, I keep putting five on my chuck. It's okay, cilantro. I know what the cilantro is. It's like a greeny leaf. One, two, three, four, four. That's fine. I think five is what I'm gonna be putting on these instead of four. Rose. Rosemary, okay, Rosemary, there she is. And let's put one, two, three, four, four. There we go, that's pretty good. Black pepper and then chili flakes and then we'll be good to go on the steaks. We can put them finally on the grill and then get prepared to make our potatoes. Where's the, 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 the last thing? Chili flakes, there we go, chili flakes. And I just need to add four more to each side. Oh yeah. Now that that's done, we can get the grill hot and ready. That way we can put them right on and flip them on each side 
inside soon enough. But I also need to look at, what is this? Baked potatoes. I think I just need to put two potatoes on a baking tray and bake them at 80 seconds. I can do that, I can handle that so well. So let's go over here, baking tray, looking clean as ever, and let's get two potatoes. Not lemons, not the lemon, where'd the lemon go? I got a stinking lemon on my plate. I don't need this lemon, I need to put that away. And I need to get potatoes, there we go. I'm not trying to make baked lemons. How do you even bake a lemon? I don't think that's possible. So let's open up this oven. Let's squat on down, put the potatoes in for 80 seconds. Where's my timers? I've got one too many of them, but it's okay. 80 seconds, set up timer, done. And now that that's happening, I can transfer these steaks onto the grill. There we go, I'm already hearing it sizzle. And these are gonna be on there for 180 seconds. So a little bit longer than the potatoes, but it should be all right. I should be able to get the potatoes onto the plate, then put the sprigs of rosemary or the garlic Garnish of rosemary on it, and we should have everything good to go. Thankfully, it's only one order right now, and I don't have two on top of me. I just don't know which one's gonna be the critic, okay? I have to make sure that I'm doing a great job on all of these dishes. That way, I don't lose out on important points. Let's take this plate up. It's a very large plate. Oh my goodness, do I even need that large of a plate? Probably not. Let's just get a basic large plate. That one looks better, especially for these beef chucks that we're gonna have. I'm gonna place this plate right here. Check up on my beef chucks. So going guys pretty solid i mean it's taken a while to cook on each side cooking is a process it takes a little bit longer than just looking at it once and it will be done it takes time a lot of time even time as a spice <laughs> yeah i made a joke like that of course i would so what are we looking at now five seconds on the clock for our potatoes i'll be able to just pick them right up out of the oven with my hot hands Ooh, hot hand there we go, and another hot hand. Boo, yeah! All right, so I have, okay, okay, I get it. I get it, the timer is going off, thank you. We now have our potatoes done, and I can add on the rosemary twigs. I need 10 grams of rosemary twigs. Which one's rosemary? That's parsley. This is rosemary, okay. Well, I get five grams per twig, so it looks like I'm gonna need two twigs, so one for each potato, and then we'll be good to go, go. What's up, Chucky Beef? These guys are still doing all right. Okay, they're really close to flipping. I shouldn't flip them just yet. I'm only gonna flip them when they are ready to be flipped. I'm not gonna do it too early. I'm not trying to rush this dish or anything. Look at the time that we have. I'm not gonna rush for any reason right now. I'm not, a, I'm not scared of any critic that there might be trying to judge my food. I know I'm, I'm uh, going to earn that star one way or another. It's my job. So let's just flip. There we go. Get that chuck back on. Oh wait, it looks like the chuck just might be done cooking. Oh. All right, I didn't even have to flip it. That's awesome. So let me just take this bad boy and I'm gonna move it right over here onto this plate. And there we go. One Chucky boy on the plate. Now, since I only have one Chucky boy, I owe them two. So let's give them two whole Chucky boys on their plate. It's weird that I'm calling them Chucky boys because they're just chucks of beef. All right, let's put that down there and let's pick up this weird looking plate. But hey, look at that proportions. Those look great. I'm going to put that down and I'm, uh, I'm not going to take a picture of it because I can already tell you the customer's going to love this food. Two potatoes and chuck steak. Oh, OK. Okay, the time is five stars. The taste is so close to five stars. It's only like four and a quarter. Overall, we got four and a half stars. I guess the only complaint is that I gave them too much chuck beef. The food critic has arrived. I'll be taking his order soon. So that wasn't even the critic. Oh, no. So this is the critic, isn't it? Pork chops with baked potatoes. No, my weakness. The one thing, making baked potatoes into chunks. I don't know how to make potatoes in the chunks, but I'll do my darndest to, to do this right. So what we need is a pork chop, and I need to season it with just salt, pepper, and thyme. Pretty simple. Bowl of soup. Or this pot of soup doing in here. I think I left that from last time. Mm -mm -mm. I'll have to eat some of that soup later. So what do we have here? We need salt, black pepper, and thyme. Salt. Four grams of it. One, two, three, four. Pepper. I'm going to do this perfectly. One, two, three, four. There we go. And time. I know which one time is. It is this one. Oh, oh wait. No, not chili flakes. This one. This one's time. There we go. And time is up. 
Time's running up. It's only at nine minutes. It's fine. Uh, time needs six. Okay, so time actually gets six instead of four. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's gonna cook in sunflower oil for 90 seconds, but I also have to make baked potatoes into chunks and bake them for 80 seconds. So let me just start getting this oil in a pan so we can start heating that up. Whoa, uh, uh, and just two more. There we go. 30 milliliters on the dot. I'm going to make this perfect for this food critic. I want to get that extra star. I want to get that new one for my restaurant. Another thing I need to do now is worry about the potatoes. Okay, so I need 300 grams of potatoes and I need to cut them into 50 gram chunks. So that is the exact measurement I need to do. Then I must have to cut them into thirds? How do I cut a potato into thirds? I've never done that before. I've always cut them in quarters or in half, but never a third third. Let's put it right in the pan. There we go. It's cooking. So now that this is cooking, I need to get these potatoes cut up. I think my only option is to do it like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, yep. I'm committing to that. There we go. That should be 50 grams each. Some of them might look chunkier than others, but overall, it looks like they're about 50 each, give or take a few of them being like 36 and the other ones being 64. Now all I need to do is transfer these potatoes over to the baking sheet, put them in the oven, and then we can start cooking. Woo, this is going pretty smooth already for this food critic. Nothing to worry about. And the pork chop's almost done. Do I have to flip it? Oh, let me get my spatula real quick. Then we go over to my pork chop before it starts overheating, and I'm just gonna flip it on one side. There we go, that looks good. It doesn't even look like I need to flip it, so... It is good to turn off the heat and let it sit there for a second while those potatoes start cooking because those potatoes only have like 60 seconds left and we still have like a total of eight minutes, maybe seven minutes in order to finish this. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, I, I grabbed the pork chop by my hand. That was a bad idea, but I was able to do it and put it on the plate and it's still going to keep his heat for a while. How are these potatoes looking? Halfway there. My bad. Didn't mean to interrupt it. I'm just so nervous, okay? There's a food critic wanting my food right now and they could give me a star or break me by taking away the only star that I have. Please do not let that happen. I'm doing my darndest to make sure that this food comes out great for them. Oh, I can actually get rid of this pan because it's got a bunch of blends of just gross stuff in it. So I can actually get that out. Probably turn on the water a bit, clean up my dishes. There we go. All right, looking a little bit better in my kitchen now. And now let's check on our potatoes. They should be done, yes. So let's turn off the oven. Hot hands, there we go. Hot, hot, hot hands. And now let's, oh, how do I do this? I can't even see the plate. Put this over the plate. Wait, that's not gonna work. Okay, I'm just gonna set the, ah! Set this down and pick up the potatoes one by one. There we go. That works out just fine. Get potato on there and another potato on there and I'm pretty sure we are good to go. Is there any other seasonings to get added on at the end? No, it just needs to be served hot. I can already tell you, steam is radiating off this dish. Let's turn it into the food cricket critic with four minutes left. And we got a perfect score across the board. You know what that means, guys. We got another Another star for our restaurant. This is awesome. Perfect on flavors, technique, and temperature. Oh, I could not be prouder. I could not be happier. Yay! My fame level went up another star. That is so good. Oh my goodness. Hey! And I got a second star trophy. No way. I'm gonna set this on my desk. Oh, it actually has two stars on it already. Now I, wait, oh, okay, hold on, wait a minute. Now I gotta cook two meals at the same time. That's, that's no good. I can start with the baked trout though, because baked trout is pretty simple. All I have to do is put a trout on a baking tray with a bit of uh, the seasonings and start baking and then give it some lemon quarters. So let's get our baked trout and let's use the energy we just got from getting our second star into our uh, food fame and let's use that as like a, a reason to make this even better than before so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna follow the recipe but I'm gonna do it so well oh yeah that's right I did five grams on the trout exactly now I need to get the time where's my time at there we go five grams as well and then dill goes on top of that one two three four five and where is my dill 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 and this one also gets five one two three four five it's always a little bit of extra at the end that I just have to make sure that gets onto the fish now I can take 
take this fish, place it onto the baking tray and start baking at 90 seconds and then apply the horsey radish at the end. It's always been a part of my dish to add the horsey radish at the end. So now from here, I can make the lemon quarters and then we'll be good to go. Lemon quarters, oh, I only need one lemon to do so. And then I have to get a plate, get some parsley and plate up. Ooh, got my knife ready to go. So let's get this lemon cut into quarters like so. And there we go. And hold on. I got one lemon who's defying gravity real quick. I got to place that down. And another quarter of lemon has been made. What are, what are the sprigs that I need of parsley? I need six things of parsley. And I usually you add that at the end, but I'm going to add it right now because it's right here. Six grams of parsley added to the plate. Let me get myself my lemon quarters added as well. There we go. And I'm just gonna jostle this around real quick. Give it a, a plenty of space for the fish to, to end up at. Oh, well, hold on, just gonna, here we go. Oh, what? Don't want it all to fall off. There we go, there we go. That looks better. Now let me pick up my plate, put that down right there. How my fish looking, huh? How is my fish looking? Almost done, but not quite there. That's okay, because another thing I need to work on now is the salmon steak and boiled potatoes potatoes meaning I'm gonna have to make boiled potatoes on the stove as well as a salmon filet which gets put into a pan of oil okay I can handle that just fine how much time do I have on that one it's five minutes okay well I'll be able to finish that just fine trout is done hot hot Ooh, why did I grab it with my hands ow Ow, okay, well now that that's done, I can turn in this order and we can hopefully, oh, oh wait a minute, I'm an idiot. I, I almost forgot, I almost put out that order without putting the main ingredient at the end, which is horsey radish. Where's my horsey radish? There it is, horsey. Now I'm gonna place it back on top at the five grams like everything else and we should be great to go. Finally, let's turn in this baked trout dish so I can get started on the last dish of the day which is my salmon filet. Okay, baked trout, there we go. Pretty good, pretty good? Yeah, five stars across the board. I'm getting so good at being a cook. Oh, I'm so happy with myself. I was so worried I was gonna burn this restaurant down, but I was able to keep it going. And how do I keep getting new orders? Excuse me? Are we really that popular now? I still have boiled potatoes I need to make. Like, let me get started on this, okay? I need to get a salmon filet and I need to boil some potatoes. Where has my salmon filet? And here we go. This is a lot of work for one person. I have like five meals already today. Let's get some salt and some pepper, five grams each. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And let's get myself some black pepper on there as well one two three four five and we need to add our pan back to the grill and we need to put in 10 milliliters just 10 and not 30 this time one two three four five that's nine so no, no okay well that's 12 that's okay 12 is just two above it and that's that's not a bad thing we can put the salmon in and start cooking on each side for 60 seconds but i still haven't even made a pot for the water in order to make boiled potatoes so let's get this water going let's turn on the right handle i need a thousand milliliters which makes one liter of water there we go a thousand on the dot i'm getting so good at that oh well, let's get this salt added into the water one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twenty okay well twenty added up to it now i need to put in the potatoes i just need to get two potatoes boiled in it so i can actually just oh, walk over here and pick up a potato and put it right in the water okay and then let's start on the stove top now I'll just wait for those boiled potatoes to get going sunflower oil is ready to go so let's get our filet right in the oil and now it can start cooking and we have to flip it onto each side in order to make sure that it is cooked fully and i have 60 seconds so i have some time to spare i'm going to get a plate make sure i'm ready to plate this food up when it's good to go do i have to add anything else at the end no more seasonings no more sprigs of garnish it is all be good to go once i have this done and ready oh what is happening to this potato water ew Ew, it looks kind of gross. I don't know if I'd want to drink that, let alone eat whatever came from it. Spoiled steak and potatoes. No, wait, it was a salmon steak and boiled potatoes. It was boiled steak. That'd be so weird. All right, only four stars on it. What did I miss out on? Too much oil. I was only two milliliters over 
and heating mistakes. Okay, I did kind of let it burn for a second. That is my bad. I understand that completely. But now what I need to do is finish up the last meal of the day, which is steak and french fries. Wow, they really just wanted to order all this food today. I'm gonna try and use my automatic cutter and see if this can work on it. I'm gonna put potato in it. Wait, there we go. One potato, two potato. I'm gonna set this down. I'm gonna figure out what it means to be an automatic cutter. I'm gonna add this salt in. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Set that down. Now, how does this how does this work, huh? Switch stacking? Wait, what? Switch stacking? I don't know what that means, but let's try and get this automatic cutter going. Let me just get this knife, and I think this is how we do it, right? No? Wait, what the heck? How do I make this automatic cutter work? Automatic cutter container. That's what the, the thing is, right? It's supposed to cut the potatoes in it? I thought that's what it was meant to do. How do I make this work? How do I get this cutter to work, huh? Ugh, it looks like I'm gonna have to cut these potatoes by hand. Let's just try and make some wedged fries, I guess. They're not gonna like them because they're more like potato chips, but hey. What are you gonna do when your automatic cutter does, doesn't work? Oh, I accidentally got the other potato. My bad. There, oh, well, that potato literally just disappeared. What is happening here? Get that slice and slice to slice. Isn't that nice getting these potato slices? They're like wedged potatoes, which aren't inherently bad. Why can't I slice this? There we go. This last potato, done. Unbelievable. But now that this is happening, let me get my spatula because I'm pretty sure 45 seconds have almost been up. Yeah, I'm pretty good at getting my internal clock to know what 45 seconds feels like steak ready to flip there we go and let's get our fryer basket ready to go i gotta fill this up with oil and these are gonna turn out just fine let's put them right into the oil Hold on, wait. Let me get them right there into the oil, and they're gonna start cooking up and be done by the time this steak is also done. Ooh, we're going faster than the speed of light today. Get this potato off the floor. Come on. And I'm gonna put these into the trash, because this day is coming to a close after I get this finished up. I'm gonna put my cutting board there because I'll have to clean it afterwards. Steak, oh man, almost there. Let me get a plate so I can not mistake in this steak and getting it burnt. All right, do we need anything afterwards? Just, oh yeah, twigs of rosemary. So I can do that afterwards. I'm pretty sure this steak is done. Added to the plate. Ooh, a little, little precarious. Let me just try and rotate it down. Just slide down the plate, steak, okay. Sl just there we go there we go slid down the plate just a tiny bit put that down pick it up and now let's go back over here and let's get ourselves the twigs of rosemary one twig two twig done so now that we have our two twigs on there we should be able to get our fries now they should not ah, they should not be too hot and we should be able to uh that put our steak in there we're supposed to put it on the plate what's going on here what's going on here okay let me set this down real quick because apparently it's uh over time already oh no oh no they really just wanted to get me to order or to do a bunch of things today what is going on how do i get the my fries and steak onto the plate wow that looks terrible all right i have a lot to clean up now okay this is this is not looking good what is that back there huh is that a broken part of the fryer no it looks like it's just a, a part of the fryer let me just put these potatoes onto the plate because they missed for some reason right, get this steak back on put them right on top of the potatoes just like uh like the original design i had in mind potatoes go underneath steak and then on top of steak like a sandwich that's what i wanted Okay, well, now that it's overtime, I'm gonna turn this meal in. I don't know if it's gonna turn out well. I hope that it's at least four stars. Oh, oh, oh no, that was, oh, that was so bad. Heating mistakes. Okay, so the cutting techniques seem to be fine, but it was just all the heating mistakes. They did not like my fries. Well, you know how hard it is to make fries by hand? It's a really hard task, okay? Now I have to go around and clean up my mess, including these fries that fell on the floor. That's a really good fry, too. I just kind of want to eat it. No, 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 trash. Does it go? Oh, it goes right up. It goes right there. And then I can pro cut the potatoes through the. Oh my god, no, no way. Hold on, I'm gonna do this real quick because I just realized I had a pro cutter this entire time. If I put a potato at the top of this thing. Oh my goodness, no way. No! <laughs> Ah, 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed another cooking simulator video. This is getting tough, all right? Owning a kitchen for this long and making this many meals by one cook alone is tough, but I am doing a good job and I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, then please smash that like button. I appreciate it. Also drop a comment down below. Let me know if you want to see more episodes, if there's anything from the game that you would like to see implemented, or if you're just having a good day, I would like to hear about it. And if you're excited to see another episode, then click on that subscribe button. That way you can watch the videos when they show up on my channel, like right here on the screen. There's one video that just showed up and all you have to do to watch it is tap or click on it and it'll take you right there. This video is about the end, so I'd suggest tapping this one or clicking on it, depending on what you have. 